Gaffer, it's another point today. What are your initial thoughts after the game with Fleetwood? Um, I suppose a little bit of disappointment, really, in the end. I think we've done enough in the second half to um, to win it. I don't, I don't think we necessarily deserve to be behind at half time, but I don't think we deserved also to be in front at half time. But I think we've done enough in the second half um, to, to win the game. We've had two cleared off the line. Um, good defending by them, you could say, but you know, I think we've done enough to, to, to win it in the end. Is that a disappointment of not getting the three points, the general feeling in the dressing room after that one? Is the thinking that we could have got more? I probably think that's how, how the players are thinking. Um, I did say to him earlier in the week that you know, this is going to be a different Fleetwood side, not, not only in personnel because they've strengthened, but also in attitude because we won the game up there and won it well. Um, they were going to be ready and um, I don't think the boys uh, didn't listen but I think that they were ready in, uh, for the game today I think that um, I think the change at half time helped us um, nothing against Tyrese I think that he was you know uh, as what I would call okay in the first half like a lot of the players but that's um, probably the tactical switch got us in the game um, then we get the penalty, uh, which was a penalty. And then I think, well, like I said, with a couple of chances that were cleared off the line, you know, I think we deserve to win the game in the end. Would you say that that Fleetwood attitude that they had, did that affect how they lined up, how they played? And then also, is that what you expected from them? It didn't affect how they lined up. We said in the week we thought they might come and play 3-5-2 because they played 4-3-3 against us last year. Uh, last year, last game that they had at home, sorry. Um, and it might have been last year anyway. I might have been correct with that. Yeah, it was last yeah, year because it was a 26, so, OK. Um, so, formation-wise, I thought that that might happen and they might change. Um, Attitude-wise, you know, sometimes when you've, you've been beaten at home like they were, then they come and they're a little bit more fired up for it. Um, and then that can lead to a little bit of apprehension in your own team when things don't go right. I thought we started the game really bright. Probably should have scored. Didn't. Um, and then their goal then, um, we, we're disappointed with a goal, a couple of our players, you know, without me naming anyone. Um, I spoke to them at, at half-time, so we're disappointed with their goal. That isn't a goal necessarily that we normally concede. And you could see it happening in the build-up. I just thought, you know, we might be in trouble here. If he gets the cross right, we might be in trouble. And then when the header goes in, uh, Marco's got no chance with that. Um, Incredibly difficult day today, you know, when you've got that, that, that horrible swirly wind, you want that game away from home. You don't really want that type of game at home. When you're trying to be the better team or the team to entertain, you, you don't want it to be like that. When you're the team away from home, you can, you can spoil it a little bit more. Um, and then what happens then is crowds start getting agitated a little bit when things don't go right. And I probably think that's what happened with us a little bit today. Um, but it was difficult out there for the players today. We got the goal in the second half and that did change the, the crowd mood, but getting to the penalty, it was some great work on the right-hand side from Seku and from Udo. Was that the link-up you hoped would happen when you brought Seku onto the pitch at half-time? Well, we have lots of play and we have lots of link-ups. You know, we, we would have had that when Tyrese would have gone in the first half. So it's not just necessarily the link-up. A lot of our lads will know what they should and shouldn't be doing, if you know what I mean. So... Um, the link up, yeah, for it, great, but they would know it anyway. Um, obviously, it's a little bit harder with Seku because he hasn't been here too long. You know, there's there's him and um, Tyrese who, you know, they've only just been through the door really, and and yet they're the earliest ones, let alone um, Tom and and Matty. You mentioned Seku's not been here too long, but he seemed to have quite an impact when he came on the pitch. What yeah. do you think of his performance generally? Yeah, I think exactly what you said. I thought he had a good impact when he came on the pitch. Um, but I also thought that, that Dan Udo and Ryan Bowman had good games today. I thought they had strong games. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's just good to have. He's, he's still a young boy. He's still learning. He's still developing. And what's happening a little bit as time's going on and he gets to know us a bit more, he's getting more minutes on the pitch. Um, but the, the mood changed at the, into the second half after well, we got the it, goal. It, and it, it does, doesn't it? You know, at the end of the day, I think the lads have given um, the home supporters here plenty to cheer about this year. They've seen plenty of good football, plenty of good victories, um, and then, and then, you know, I think that there's um, 
perhaps a little bit of disappointment when, you know, perhaps if they get booed when they come off at half time, I don't, I don't think they deserve to be booed when they come off. Um, but we soon put that, put that score right early in the second half. So, yeah, I'm, um, I'm pleased for the lads with that. And uh, the, after that goal, it seemed almost one way traffic in our favour. Mm. And then, as you mentioned, the two goals cleared off the line. Could you say there's another element, of just not one of those games where we needed just a little bit more luck as well? Yeah, I think it was good defending by them. Um, but the two that were cleared off the line, you know, another day they can go in. What we've got to do is we've just got to make sure that we keep knocking on the door. And those, those that are cleared off the line will end up in the back of the net like they have done before. But, you know, as I always say to the lads here, you know, if, if, if you can't win, don't get beat. And um, I think it's always very difficult when the game's a little bit stodgy like it was in the first half, which suits an away team. Um, to then come back, I thought the lad showed great character today, which is really important. Sometimes you can't be at your best, but I think today they showed great character to come back into it and try their socks off to try and get the winner. Great character and again, as you say, another game that adds towards our run of only one defeat in nine now. And now on to a very busy week with two tough away games, long tough yeah. away games. Yeah, yeah, no, we have, yeah. We'll obviously digest this one a little bit tonight and then start working on on Wickham um, tomorrow, who have had a, a, a day off today, so you know they've they've had a good break. So we need to look at you know our team for that game. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Gaffer. Thank you.